Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Well, I want to show you this little booklet that I have made and it has some elements in it and we're going to do a tutorial on how I made some of the elements. So this was um, six by six paper um, that I just took this sheet, I took this sheet, and I just, um, I'm sorry, not six by six, 12 by 12 uh, sheet, and I just cut it and folded it over. So you could have cut these out, but instead I just folded it over to make my little booklet. So inside my booklet, I've got a pocket here, and then I put this little card on top of the pocket, but I didn't glue the top part down so that I could actually get some things back in there behind that. And then here, I just added a little tiny envelope that I made, and inside that envelope is just a little card. It says Brunch Memories. <laughs> And so it just kind of goes up under there to hold it there. Now this one is actually glued in. So this is another um, envelope. And then there's a little card inside that. Then I put a corner pocket on the outside and just put a little tag down in there. Now on this side, you've got this little flip out here with some journaling spaces. And I put this title up in here, but I didn't glue glue it here so that I could actually stick something up in there. So that one goes that way. Then it unfolds like this. And on this page, I've got two corner tucks with little um, tags in each side. So here's just a little card. There's a little card. Okay. And then let's look at the middle. On the middle, I put a um, side pocket, and then I put this on top of it. But again, I didn't glue it all the way down, so it's just a tuck spot. So I've got room to stick some things up under there. Just made a little booklet there. So I just kind of got those tucked here. And then I've got a corner pocket over here. This is actually a double corner pocket. So you can see there's two corners. So I've got this in the back. I've got this in the front. And then this whole thing flips up. I like things that flip this way and that way. That's fun. So I just kind of left this page here. And this is attached. I, I really hid it, but it's a piece of just a strip of paper that I scored down the middle and made a hidden hinge. So there's a little hinge there that you don't really see. Um, on this one, I've got another little flip out with some journaling spaces here. And down here, you'll see I put a magnet because this whole thing closes with magnets. So I, I hid a little magnet down up under there. Here I've got a little tiny envelope. It's got a little card in it. And I left this side open so I'd have a little tuck spot right there. So this closes here and this closes here and that flips down. And that flips over and click, there's the magnet. Now here's what I want to show you. We're going to do a tutorial on this part right here. This is a, I, don't, I call them floating belly bands. I don't know what you would call it, but it's a belly band that has a floating element. Just learning to fly. The butterfly is learning to fly. So it's still a belly band. You can stick things behind it. But um, let me show you that too, because I want, I want to make sure... You can see, and this is the one we're going to use in a minute. So see, it's just a full belly band, and the element that slides, it doesn't affect it. If you put something behind it, you can still do that. So let's learn how to do that. Let's do that. That'll be fun. Okay, so I've just got, I'm going to use this color right here, and this is some cardstock. Now, you do want cardstock for this. It doesn't have to be terribly heavy, but it does need to be cardstock. So let's cut, uh, I'm going to say about five inches, and most of the belly bands I make are about one inch, but, you know, you can do whatever you want to. So let's say we've got a little one inch by five inch strip here. So we need to figure out what's going to go on the top, and I had picked this earlier, this little, it could be anything in the world. But this has a little dimension to it. See, it kind of comes up. So this is going to be my element that's going to slide back and forth. And I'm going to take probably this little 
leftover piece right here. Now what we need is a narrow, it can be about a half inch. Let's make it a half inch. You just need a narrow strip that's long enough to go around the part that you just, your belly band. So here's our belly band. We want to strip whatever length that's long enough that you can fold it around and glue it together. So see, we got we got plenty of room there. So I'm going to just take a little bit of that off. Okay, now what you don't want to do, you don't want to glue this down so tight that it, it, it won't move. You want to make sure you've got enough give in there. Make sure it moves easily and slides carefully. And what I do is I glue it together on the top. That way I don't have to worry about any of these little seams being in the way of what I'm going to tuck behind it. So then it's smooth on the back side. So we're going to take a little bit of glue. Any glue will work. This is um, art glitter glue, but you can use anything. And I'm just going to glue that down. And again, I'm not pulling it real tight. You know, I want to make sure it slides. See, it slides really good. And then this has uh, a sticky foam on it, but I'm just going to give it just a little more, just to reassure, reassure me. I should have put the glue on there. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> I just want to make sure that that thing stays on there. Okay, so now all you have to do is attach this to your journal page. Say this is your journal page. So you would just glue it on both sides, you know, trim it to fit your journal page and glue it here and glue it here. And then you've got a belly band. You can slide things behind it, but it's got this sliding element and it's just fun. It's just for fun. So, okay. So that's one that you can make. All right. So we're going to set that aside to dry and let's make something else. Let's go with this color this time and I am going to I'm gonna figure out what size I want it to be actually I think I'm gonna get my scoreboard out well I'm gonna cut this down first to about I don't know about five I like five by seven for some reason I like that size for my journal pages so let's see what size this is three and a half inches. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to kind of guess at it. I'm going to score this at one inch. I'm going to score this at two inches and I'm going to score this at three inches. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see my score lines. Maybe you can. Um, I'm going to just kind of fold that in and I, this cardstock's pretty heavy. Now you don't have to um, use cardstock for this part if you don't want to. You can use anything you've got. Um, you can use regular paper because, like I said, this is it's a little heavy. You you can see how stiff it is, but that's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it work. So I'm just kind of doing like a. Would you let me see? I tell you what I'm gonna do. I was gonna do an accordion fold, but I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Have that right I'm a woman let's just take a sliver off of that and I'll show you why <clears throat> I've decided I'm gonna fold this up this way and this way so I took that little sliver off right there just so it'll fold real easily like that okay so now this is gonna be a belly band I'm gonna glue that part down to my journal page and it's going to be like this and then you can open it like that okay you could go either way if you want to and I'm going to cover this and this with some decorative paper to make it pretty then we're going to add an element that's going to hold it closed okay so let's say let's say this is our our page which I can make that work I could just cut some of that off let's make that work let's cut that off a little bit more so we're gonna say this is our journal page there we go all right so what we need to do is find out what exactly size this is so we can cover it with some paper 
So this is not quite an inch and four and about four and a quarter will stop right there. Okay, so almost an inch. Let's find some paper to cover it with. And I would really like to use regular paper. Okay, so here we are. I picked this paper here to just kind of show you what we're going to do. So it's four and a quarter by almost an inch, about three quarters of, of an inch. You can kind of you can kind of guess it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and then we're going to cut this about four and a quarter. Let's see if that fits. All right. So what we're going to do, see, I'm going to say that's still a little bit too wide, just a little bit wider than I want it to be. So now we're going to go back and take a little sliver off of this and see if we can make it uh-huh, uh-huh, see there? Okay, so let's do that for these sections here. Okay, so four and a quarter by, I'm going to cut this down even further about right there. Okay, get out of here. Four and a quarter, I need one more. And good. Okay, now. <clears throat> All right, so let's take our glue and let's just add these little panels in here. Now notice I made all of my panels a little bit shorter, narrower and shorter than the actual piece that I'm gluing it on to because I still want it to fold up really nicely. Okay, so I'll put this one here. Okay, and we're going to put this one here. And this is just what I call an expanding belly band. And you can see I cut that a little short there, but that's all right. Just for the sake of the tutorial, you mean what I know. <laughs> okay, so we're going to fold this down. Okay, looks good. All right, and then I'm going to take, and I'm not going to glue, sorry, I'm not going to glue the whole thing. I'm only going to glue the edges because it's a belly band. I want something to go behind it. Now, if this is the top and I glue it this way, things are going to get hung on that going through. So I'm going to make sure I turn it over so that there's nothing to get hung on when you slide something behind it like that, okay? So we'll let that dry for just a second. And now we have an expanding belly band. And of course, we're gonna ink it and all that good stuff. <clears throat> but what you don't want, you don't want your belly band sticking up like that on your page. Now, it is cool that you can come in here and expand it this way and this way. You can, you know, extra journaling spaces, but you don't want it sticking up like that, right? So we're going to make a little closure, a little... Now, there's a lot of ways you can do this. I'll show you one. We can take... We can use a different... Um, let's go back to this guy right here and let's see if that'll fit. We can make a little punch. Ooh, that ain't quite... Ain't quite going to make it, but it can be a one-inch punch, a little one-inch circle, okay? Now, here's one thing you can do. You can glue half of this circle right here, okay? <clears throat> you could do another one over here if you want to. You could put it down here, but it's still going to flip up a little bit. So I'm thinking we're going to make a little flap thing. That'll be fun. All right, so let's do that. Let's have, let's have, we'll go back to this paper right here. All right, <clears throat> so we'll make it have a little, um, I'll show you. I don't know what you call it. 
So I'm going to fold that down. Now this is just a, a little, uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba, uh, not even an inch, a little less than an inch wide. It's just a, the strip I had left over from a minute ago. And what I'm going to do, fold that back down. I'm going to put this here and I'm going to make it attach here so that it'll flip up <clears throat> like that to let you into your belly band. Okay, does that make sense? So we're going to attach this here. We're going to pull this down, and there's a lot of things you can do here. You can put a magnet. You can, I mean, there's a lot of options, but I'm going to do something a little bit different just because. Why not, you know? Okay, so let's go ahead and let's put some glue on this part, and it just goes up above that. We're going to try to center it if we can. Now, what I would like down here, just because I think it would be cute, would be just a little slide, a little pocket slide kind of thingamajiggy. <clears throat> so, let's cut this. And this can be any size, and it can be any shape, really. You could have done a cute little decorative shape like that. would be cute. A little bit bigger than I want, though. So, yeah, we'll just stick with this. Okay, and I'm choosing this because it matches that inside there. So I'm, so I'm choosing this color here. So let's do this. Let's take and I would, if I knew, do you know what I did? I have a, um, I have a corner chomper. <clears throat> and I think I've showed y'all this before. Be careful when you set it down. Because I set it down, I guess, in a hurry, and I broke that part off. And I'm so sad about that, because it wasn't a cheap investment to begin with. And so now I only have one side that has the little guide. But I'm still making it work. So when you set it down, close it. <laughs> so you don't break it like me. Okay, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to put this guy right here, okay? So I'm going to add some, a little bit of glue right here on this side. And I'm going to add a little glue on this side. And I'm going to pull that back out while this dries so that it's not pushing against it. And then I think I'm going to take my, um, just to make it even easier, I'm going to take this little flap. Well, hello. I'm going to take this little flap here, and I'm just going to cut it to a little bit of a point. Okay. So now you've got your exploding, expanding belly band, and you've got this little tuck. See how cute is that? Now you can decorate that all up. You know, add some add some frou-frou. Put another flower. Let's see if those guys are hooked. Yeah, they're hooked together. Wouldn't that be pretty? Let's do it. Let's do that. Let's have, and again, it's got some foam tape, but I don't trust it. It might not stay. And I think I actually might put just a dot to hold that piece down because I don't want it flapping up and getting caught on something. Okay, so here we have an expanding belly band page ready to go in your journal. All you got to do is open this little flap. Then you expand it this way, and you can cover that too right there if you want to. You can expand it this way, cutie, cutie, cutie. Okay, so let's do this. Say this is our little card. This is our little ticket or our little whatever you want to call it. Let's see if we can get it back there behind the belly band. And then... Can we still close it? Yes, we can. Look, lots of elements. Lots of cute elements. Okay, how fun. Now, you can decorate this with trim if you want to. I'm going to go back and I am going to cover that. And I'm going to decorate that. And I'm going to decorate that. Because I think we need to do all of that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what I've done. I went ahead and just finished decorating it a little bit. I just added a, a little bit of paper trim there. And um, I covered this side here. I inked up the edges. 
Um, here I just put a little um, piece of paper there. I left this pretty much blank except for that just for journaling places. And behind here, I've got my little card, but it was kind of hard to get it in and out. So I just put a little pull tab on there. And then the back is blank for journaling. So that goes down in there. And then this just closes down like that. So it's ready to go, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you give this a try. It's a lot of fun. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.